How's it going everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I've been sent some else by Fantasy Seals, another camera piece of uh, equipment. Uh, it's a 4 in 1 uh, C shaped stabiliser um, that you can use for um, your, your GoPro cameras, your TomTom -Tom Bandit, you can use it with a camcorder, you can do it with a DSLR, compact system cameras, pretty much anything that uses a normal uh, camera uh, screw mount. Um, so I'm going to open the box, show you what you get inside, and then I'm going to do some um, quick footage with it so you can get an idea of what it's like. Okay guys, so this is the front of the box there. Now it tells you pretty much what you're gonna get and um, what it's compatible with. Now most of you'll be buying this on Amazon. This is retails for I think about $19.99 now with um, free delivery. Um, and if you're on Amazon Prime you can get free delivery as well. Now um, on the side there just gives you a link to you know the Phantom Seal products and you know pretty much the same thing on the back and just gives you an idea of what you can kind of um, expect from the packaging. So uh, yeah, just give you open it up here. Slide it out so there's another box inside. This is just to protect it while it's in transit. So, what do we get? There we go. Right, so you get the, the actual stabilizer itself there, and there's a little bag of accessories. So, let's open the bag of accessories first. Now, um, you do you can use this with. Uh, Stuff like mobile phones, action cameras, and um, you know ca uh, actual uh, proper cameras as well. So you get a little uh, chamois, chamois cloth there, which is always nice to see to clean your lens. Um, you get this is a mobile phone mount. So if you have a mobile phone, you can just uh, extend this out, and then you can slot it in there, um, like so. If I just show you here, so you can just pop that in. Now this is a Samsung uh, Note 8, so as you can see, you know it fits that perfectly fine. Um, the actual construction is very solid actually, it's, um, it's metal, it's like metal and plastic, so it doesn't feel like it's going to break anytime soon. And then that's your um, uh, little uh, your thread there to screw it into the uh, standard camera mount there. Um, and of course you get a cool free uh, GoPro uh, mount there as well. Uh, now let's take this out of the bag because this is a stabiliser itself. So that's the actual stabiliser itself, it's comes with little feet here so if you are putting it down on the ground and it's got grip there as well so it won't slide about, you know, it'll stay in place quite easy which is always good to see. Now it comes with a little sliding go uh, GoPro mount there as well and now you can just unscrew that like so and then that thing comes loose and as you can see here on the bottom you've got these little grooves here so you, if your um, uh, the actual mount on your camera is offset you can just put it straight um, in the middle depending on where you want to position this bit here so you can move it to the left, um, you know, the right or you know different different sections, that's always cool so if I just unscrew that there then um, that's your GoPro thing which you can take out there. Now you've got this on top here which you can use for your microphone, your flash or you can use it for your mobile phone if you want to use it as a screen for your GoPro or your action cam which is really cool so you can literally just have your camera here and then um, you can get your, the actual mount that you got for the um, your mobile phone, stick it on there and then you just slide it in to the uh, little mount there and there you go you've got a screen and then you've got to click it into place You've got a top screen there which you can use to look at what you're shooting, you know, as you're uh, filming. So that's really cool that you get that with that. So if you want to use this little mount with an action cam, um, I'm just going to get my TomTom -tom Bandit mount here. And then I'm going to push through this. If I just screw that onto there like so. There we go. Yep, it's pretty tight. Now this is rubberized as well to stop your camera from sliding about, so that's always good. Then you can just get your... Um, your actual camera itself, slot it onto there like that and you've got yourself a uh, movable kind of uh, cool little setup there where you can just hold it there, you can hold it from here this is like a foam material this feels quite hard wearing like it's not going to move anywhere, there is a little bit of a flex to it uh, probably to make it more a bit stable um, it's raised from the ground a bit there and then you can just you know point at where you want to shoot while watching the actual what you're shooting at on the actual camera using the uh, the app that you have for your action cam, um, so that's pretty cool. 
Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just go outside with this, run around a bit, um, show you how it how it looks, how stable it is, and um, to give you a better idea of what it looks like. Okay guys, so this is me using the camera on the actual uh, phone here. So I've just got my phone put onto the uh, mobile mount and it's uh, just uh, plugged into there. Now being the uh, Galaxy Note 8, it's a bit awkward because the um, the phone actual lens is on the top of the phone. So I can't get it up on centre without the phone keep turning off, but you get the idea. So um, this is just what it kind of looks like, stabilised. You know, it's a lot easier to hold. shows you the idea of what the kind of shots you can get you can just put it on the ground like that because it's got the left the raised feet you can kind of get in a bit close here it's uh, pretty cool and it's got like that It makes it a lot easier to um, to handle because you're not using your your arm, but that gives you an idea of what you can kind of expect, you know. And you can get in; you don't have to bend down as much. You can get in where you need to, you know. You can go a bit deeper. It's um, it's got a decent weight to it, not too heavy. I'll show you what it looks like with the actual SLR on as well. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's actually on uh, with an SLR. This is my compact uh, Lumix G7 uh, on the actual tripod. Um, on the, sorry, the uh, camera stabilizer. So it fits really well. Good thing about the G7 is it actually lines up perfectly in the center. Uh, so I don't have to use the other side settings, but it's good to know that you've got that if you want to. Um, I'm just going to put it on autofocus and then just walk around. So this is the kind of quality you'd get from an SLR using this thing so you know you can get in a bit close you know um, but it's a pretty decent thing I mean if you've got like a SLR that focuses quite quickly um, which mine not the most fastest focusing uh, lenses I've got on here at the moment um, so yeah, that's the kind of thing you can get with it. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Got me washing up. Yeah, so um, that pretty much wraps it up really. It's quite a simple product. Like I said, it's only about £20. If you want a really simple stabiliser, uh, then I'd recommend it. Um, uh, I think it's got it's free delivery with Amazon Prime. Um, so yeah, um, don't forget to watch my unboxing, uh, my more unboxing reviews that I got coming up, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.